What up, it's Brianna, and here are your hip hop topics, the power on through this week. So Iggy Azalea was dating DeAndre Hopkins for a little bit, but then she tweeted, I have come to the conclusion I'm gonna be alone forever. I watch movies alone in the shower and ish, it's nice. Girl, I feel you because when I'm in the shower bubble baths, I'm living my best life. Takashi 6 9 oh my goodness, all this beef. 6 9 and YG, they got into it. Yo, I don't know how more disrespectful can I get. YG, suck my fucking dick, stupid. But then YG came back with a comeback. And I will stay away from YG because he's definitely staying dangerous. And speaking of which, he came in with the leakers the other night. It was definitely a good time and good vibe. You can click the link right here for the full video. So Serena Williams and Cardi B open up about their postpartum emotions. I think it's really dope that they open up about something that is probably really difficult for women to talk about. It's been a minute since Nicki Minaj dropped an album uh. and she finally dropped her album. I cannot wait to listen to this all weekend long. So Rihanna is receiving an honorary doctorate from the University of West Indies. She's not only on the cover of British Vogue, but also getting an honorary doctorate? Yes girl, live your best life. In other Drake news, my girl loves Drake, so I'm gonna have her take over this one. Yes, my man, Drizzy Drake, has become the first artist to cross 50 billion, that's right, 50 billion streams across all streaming platforms. Who else can do that? No one. So yesterday I met Lil' Kim, oh my goodness, she was in on the cruise show. You have to check out their interview, along with LA Leakers, their freestyle with Tyga, and Rev Run stopped by and just sprinkled a couple gems on the cruise show. Those are your hip hop topics to power on through this week. You can catch me every single day on Power 106, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a flat.